Hello and welcome to another Factorial Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator and thank you so much for joining me. And today we are covering the uh, Outpost Planner Mod. Uh, now I may have done this one uh, quite a long time ago or a similar mod. Um, I don't quite remember. Uh, but either way, this one has been updated for uh, 1.1 uh, pretty recently here. And a few quality of life features added to it as well. So I figured it was great, uh, a great choice to Spotlight. Uh, so one of the things changed is apparently this mod used to use a special item you had to build to actually use the feature of the mod. Um, but now it's just bound to a hotkey and also it adds a button here or if it doesn't you can just make room for it and add it in. Um, so that's that's one of the main things that's been changed as well as obviously working with 1.1. Uh, so I am on the latest version of the game right now. And as you might imagine, based on the name, it allows you to plan outposts. will basically build an outpost for you, which is really cool. And from my testing, it does it quite well. Uh, aside from oil, as far as I can tell and from what I'm reading and played with, I don't think it works with oil. I, I've tested and tried to change out things in the settings um, to, to make it work with, with oil, and I just cannot get it to work. And I've tried looking on the mod portal, and I can't find anything that says it works with oil. Um, so if it does, please let me know and point out how it works uh, with oil, but to my knowledge it does not work with oil, unfortunately. Um, however, it does work very well with uh, raw, re like, non-liquid resources, and it will work with uranium as well. Um, so when you come over here, this is where all the settings are located. There are no settings in the actual mod settings menu. Um, it's just in here, and then there is no tech, it's just a native thing, it just adds it here. Um, and there's quite a few settings. Uh, so obviously a close button. Uh, this one here, this uh, changes the output direction of your belts. Uh, so if you want them to go north or south or west or east, you can change this uh, to whichever you prefer, you know, based on where you want the belts to head. Um, this is your belt type. You can add higher level belts in here if you want by simply uh, clicking on this. And it will add it, and it does give a very good feedback in terms of, you know, what it's done and, or what the problem is. So it's added it, and it says it will use it when appropriate. So how this works is, um, as it is now, we have yellow and red belt in here. Um, so it will only use red belt when it needs to for throughput reasons. So, like, if you have a huge patch and you have so many miners there that they actually um, output more than a yellow belt can carry, um, then it will use red belt in that case. Or you can just click on an entity and it will just get rid of it. Um, so if you just want to only use red belt or only use blue, etc., um, as you level up your belts, then uh, then you can do that as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and so there needs to be at least one here. So I tried to click it and remove it. It won't work. So we have to add yellow back in and then click it and we're back to yellow belt. Uh, you can do the same with all of these. So if you take a power pole and click on this, you can change power pole. You can change the pipes if you wanted to, I suppose. You could change miners uh, and the chests um, for mining into chests if you want to do that. Um, and then you can have it read blueprint. So if you want to create a custom blueprint for yourself, um, you can have it read that too. And by custom blueprint, uh, obviously it would kind of defeat the whole purpose of the mod if you created like an entire blueprint, like for an entire patch and use that because then there's no really reason to use this mod if you're doing that. Um, but what this would be good for is like a minor setup. So if you want, you know, just like it would be a small thing here and it will make more sense once I show you these. Um, but if you want to have like, you know, your power poles um, placed in a very specific order and, you know, uh, you know, very, very specific things about it, um, then you could do that because these uh, are, are kind of just like presets for this. So I've already set these, but if you haven't, um, you can take an empty blueprint and then click on this and we'll basically give it to you. Um, but obviously I've already done that, but if we do spread out, so this is um, kind of what I would consider I would basically consider this default if we click default. Um, so if we just take an empty blueprint and click default, um, it's mostly basically this one. Um, so there's this. Okay, so that's, that's what I would consider default. Um, spread out, um, you know, we would have to kind of click this again. Um, so this one is a little more spread out. Um, you can see it's placing those dummy items, those chests, um, which I think is just kind of helping spread things out a bit. Uh, compact is mining onto underground belts so you don't have the space like behind the miners for your power poles it puts them in there since it's undergrounding them uh, and then you can also do belt uh, bot based if you want as well uh, which is really cool and then like i said you if you want to create custom blueprint and like have very very specific little things in it then you could do that and you would um, take your custom blueprint and click on this you can see here it failed to read because i didn't put a blueprint there um, but you would just grab your blueprint and then click on that 
Um, the dummy item, you can set it to whatever you want. Um, I'm just leaving a default for this. Um, it has to be a one to one entity though. You can see here, click with a one by one entity in your hand to use as a dummy. Uh, last options before I show this to you, place pulls as in blueprint. So if you use a custom blueprint, this would be, you would want to use this probably. Place pulls at regular intervals or smart placement, which is default and that's what I'm gonna leave it on. Other options, place pipes when mining with fluid, uh, being uranium. Merge and collate leaving rows of belts. That's default on, actually all these are on by default. And then select a belt based on the number of miners in the row. Smart belt selection is not supposed to is not supported when blueprint includes underground belts. So that's because we're using this one. Um, so if we go to default, and then uh, if we go to default, and then do that, it should work. Yeah. So we, we changed the base, we took default, clicked on the re blueprint. So this is just saying like which one it's actually going to use for the planning. And then we can click this as well. Um, so we can click this and then we drag and actually we can show you kind of see remnants of it here. Um, we drag over a resource patch and then it's going to actually plan it out for us. And you can see it's doing this. It doesn't do it all at once, probably for performance reasons or just because it's calculating stuff, um, but it's going to draw it all out. It marks the close for deconstruction. It places belts and then boom, places uh, power poles. Now these happen to actually be aligned very well. Uh, even though we didn't select that specifically, um, but this did work quite well uh, in this case. And I think this actually works really, really nicely. It marks things for deconstruction as they need to be. It places its poles, places the miners and the belts based on the blueprint you had selected, uh, merges these together, which is perfect. Uh, since we selected four uh, final output belts, it, it knows that. So it's not going to give us like four and then part of another one. So five, it merges them to make four. And then you can just do, you know, throw a balancer here if you want or other stuff and uh, continue on your way. Um, so this is just obvious for me, at least. I think it would be much faster than trying to ghost out stuff myself. Uh, and then, like I said, if you want to change things, so if we take, uh, say we want a bot based one, we're, we're doing bots and so we click on this. So we now imported the bot one and uh, we do outpost planner on this copper patch, for example. It's going to do the same deal, except it's going to be a bot base. It's mining all into chests and placing the poles in here. Now, this would be a fantastic example for maybe creating a custom blueprint because uh, you don't need to leave this space here for power poles at all when you use bots, because obviously there's no belt moving in between these. So like when I build out a uh, bot outpost, I just stick the miners right up against each other, back them right up against each other, and then put the poles in between. Um, and there's not really an option for that. Um, so you can maybe create a custom blueprint for that if you want and then import it and, and you would be good to go in that case. Uh, and then let's try it out with uranium as well. Uh, and just to show you, I will do compact uh, just to show you the final example of that. And we'll drag on this and it's doing compact and then it should throw the uh, pipes in here theoretically. And there we go. Um, so it doesn't show them in the ghost, but basically these will connect. They connect through each other um, when, when you build miners, as you can see the fluid output right there. So these will connect through each other. So it knows that and it's just piping along the front here. Boom, connecting them up and these all connect through each other and placing the power poles undergrounding so we can have the tight placement like that and then outputting four belts. Uh, now I'm not entirely sure why it just defaults to red um, here and won't let us change to another level of belt for the compact. Um, because yellow belt would work here, uh, but that's just how it is. And there you go. So that's my guys, a little longer review, but I wanted to show you everything. And like I said, I cannot for the life of me get it to work with oil and I haven't read anything that says it does. Um, so I'm just assuming it does not. Um, but if you've used it and you know how to make it work with oil, please let me know down in the comments and I'll pin the comment um, so other people can see it as well. And uh, also you can change logistic chests if you want to mine into like active providers for some reason or something, you could do that. Uh, but there you go. So. There's a mod, link in the description to the mod portal. We can check it out if you're interested. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed, a like is appreciated and helps out a bunch, helps other people find the video. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, keep up with all the new content. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.